Um, without having any sound on, let me just show you what it looks like on the lemur when the patch syncs to Ableton Live. I have, of course, um, assigned the play and the stop buttons. So just, just let me press play and then live start. And then we have like a metronome type of thing going here. And you see that the, <clears throat> the LFO indicators start moving. And now they're all on sign and over 16 bars. So, of course, they follow each other. If we just move them out here, you can see that they start moving in different at different paces like that. Um, so this is cool. Right now, the first one, or LFO zero, is um, maps to the the hi hat frequency. So let's just move that to a nice sine curve, um, over eight bars like that, and we we'll just neutralize the rest of them so they won't be in our way. So that's the one, the top one, moving like that. And just for um. For the record, <clears throat> this is saw up, well, too low tempo like that, up, up, and down, and then saw down, 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 and then random, and actually random is at four times the, the indicated tempo, um, just to make it a bit more interesting, because a really slow random seems not so useful to me, so it would be like, like that. All right. Let's just start it like this. So this is what it looks like when the sequencer is also running. And this is the filter right now. It's turned down. And the slide time just which is zero and it's like up to I don't remember how many milliseconds. So you can go. Like that. So if you want to store this one, pick whatever preset you want to choose and um, hit store for number four. And you will have a different one, which goes at a different tempo like that, maybe a different slide time, and you store that to number five. And just use recall. Alright, you can also use the, <clears throat> the global recall, which recalls all the different macros on all pages. You can go like this, we have number 4 here, and this number 5. 4 and 5. So if we want to have something working like that, full um, filter again. Let's move, move over to this one, which is for the, for the sense. Sense to... Um, to nice own boys delay should probably slow that down like that and also this down here sends to um, the strange beat repeat thing and we store these on on four respectively four like that and then we make a um, <clears throat> different send variation here on like that, that. Store these on five. And again, use the global preset if you want. And now we have the filtering effect as well. The LFOs 
unfortunately, the LFOs are not yet under a preset control, and they, that's one of the few th or one of the things that I'd like to change. Having uh, the presets working for the LFOs as well, <clears throat> and having better preset handling. There are a lot of things that you could probably improve, but um, I guess uh, have fun, explore this patch, and mail me with any questions you have. See you later.